All right, everybody, what I'm going to show you is how to actually update all the classroom computers you have in your classroom. The first thing you've got to remember is you must sign on with your teacher login. If it is under a student login, it is not going to let you update the computers. So make sure first log in as yourself on all your computers. Then down here on the little Cortana search bar, I found that it does better if you type in capital letters. So do all caps and type in Windows Update Settings, and you'll see it up at the top. Click that. Okay. It's better, I think, if you click the second option. I tried the first option. It said it didn't find anything. So click and you know, check online for updates. And so basically, it's going to take it a little while. So you may want to do this at the end of the day when the kids aren't trying to use the computers because you are going to have to restart the computers, okay? So, see, it's downloading, so it's going to install them, and so then it should pop up later and say something like restart the computer until, like right here. So until you restart the computer, it's not actually going to finish installing those updates. So once you've done that, you've ran, you run the little update thing, you restart your computer, once everything is back to normal, log back in as yourself, make sure the computer works, and then just shoot me an email so that I know you have updated all of your classroom computers. And if you have trouble, just let me know. I am here to help.